drop it. Let's drop you later. I'm tired right now. You're Roscoe James was probably dumb tired right now. I was in Flatbush last night filming all type of scenes. I did an episode last night. I filmed Burnt Out Baby. Burnt Out Baby. Cyrus P was populated. I know I'm dumb late today. I'm tired, bro. Woke up late. Came in last night. About two cash. Found a found a beautiful parking spot. A beautiful parking spot. I said, I saw that parking spot. I came, it was two, I was dozing off driving. I came around the block, I saw that parking spot. I said, there's a God somewhere. You heard? There's a God somewhere. I pulled up in that shit. I said, he's a beautiful God. He's a merciful God. I was dumb happy. Yershk. Yo, my doodly. Let me stop fucking with people. I'm just about to fuck with a random car going by. Nigga, minding his business. I'm running up on the leg. He closed his window up. <laughs> These niggas ain't playing out here. Uh-oh, traffic, traffic cop squad is on them. Traffic cop squad is on them. I came across the Brooklyn Bridge last night. They had the... Dumb rookie squad playing the bridge. You know how they be having that dummy car that don't nobody be in there by the Brooklyn Bridge, but the sirens just be on all day so people don't do stupid shit? Well, they was over there. Them niggas was like 18, kid. I said, God damn. These police younger than the motherfucker. It was like five of them. Some Asian niggas, some black niggas. Them niggas was looking like high school students. I said, damn. Y'all niggas rookie game is serious. I'm not even stopping for you. And you'd be like, excuse me. I'd be like, eh, fuck out of here, nigga. You too young. I'm good, nigga. You ain't, I can't let you arrest me, nigga. You 19 cash, nigga. You ain't arrested me, nigga. Yeah. Damn, should I stop and get that Slothy gang? Nah, these niggas be having that Bustello, though, man. Had me on live for three hours straight, you heard? I'm gonna leave that alone right now. I ain't trying to be on live for three hours, you heard? I'm gonna have to take these dumb ass shades off though because I can't see shit, you heard? I can't see shields net, so when I get up in the kills nar, I might have to take these shits off. Nah, I gotta take these off, Lord. I can't see the gods. I can't see the names of the gods. This shit, that shit ain't helped so much, man. It's too motherfucking bright out here. In the streets gaming, what's populated? Boca Martinez, what's really good? Jason Simpson, what's popping? Sean Summers, what's really good? Goat Lady, Goat Lady, I see you in the building. Jason FNJ, what's popping? Steve Howes, what up? 
Rome Far Rock was really good. My mouth dry as a motherfucker too. Pause. <laughs> y'all niggas, I told y'all, man. Y'all niggas want to meet up. Y'all want to meet up this Halloween. Y'all want to meet up this Halloween night. Coming up. Y'all want to go up to Mount Loretto. You heard? And go party in the abandoned um, orphanage. Holla at me, my nigga. I'm going to send y'all niggas the address. You heard? Y'all want to fuck with me at that Staten Island haunted Mount Loretto? Holla at me. I'm going to send y'all niggas the address to the abandoned orphanage. And y'all niggas meet me there on Halloween night at 2 a.m. And see if my ass will be there. See if my ass will actually be there. Y'all niggas will be pulling up like, Yo, Les, Jim Pop. <laughs> yeah, hi. Right. My shit be like, yo, I'm in the Bronx, nigga. Fuck out of here. I wish the fuck I would go to that haunted shit. Nigga go up in that shit 2 a.m. Nigga looking for me. Yeah, all right. You won't find me in that motherfucker. Like the homie was like, yo, we're going to do a video there. I don't think that's going to happen, Lord. You heard? Nigga won't possess me while I'm rapping. Nigga be rapping. Yo, hey, yo, I come through. Nigga just start floating up in the air. Yo, yo, what the fuck? Nah, I'm good. I'm Gucci, bro. I'm Gucci gang bang, you heard? If you got, if you, if you, if you rocking, if you rocking some jeans, some mad baggy jean shorts that go over your knees in 2022, you got the mad baggy jean shorts, Past your knee in 2022, you on your way to the penitentiary, my brother. I'm just letting you know that. You will soon be in the penitentiary. I'm just telling you that. Heard? Your shorts, your shorts is damn near touching the ground, and they supposed to be shorts, but them shits damn, damn near touching the ground. You got a couple of bids in you, my nigga. That's all I'm saying. Heard? Right. Walking through the Bronx with some, walking through the Bronx with some '88 Kulaks on. You got some '91 Kulaks on, and them shits is so long that they might as well be regular pants. You on your way, bro? You got about 12 months before you catch that bed, my nigga. And certain garments, certain garments. If a nigga wear, he on his way to jail. You feel what I'm saying? Like I told y'all back in the days, if you saw a nigga with a triple fat goose inside out with all of the gooses showing he on his way he on his way to rikers allen he on his way to state prison you feel what i'm saying he's just counting down the days so it's just certain garments you see them garments automatically clicks you going to jail bro you heard it's like bear coat if you saw a nigga with a bear coat back in the days he's on it right now any nigga you saw with a bear coat they up north right now you heard them niggas, they've been up there for the last 15 years. They're about to come home. You saw them niggas with that bear coat. You know what time it was when you saw them with the bear coat. They was going back to the pen, son. You heard? Hold it now. Don't, don't run me over for that parking spot, my lord. You know, in New York, niggas see a parking spot. Niggas will run your head over. Niggas will run your head over before they miss that, before they let another driver get that parking spot. You regret having black leather when it start getting hot. Yes, sir, I am leaving, my guard. Don't murder me, though. Damn. I don't care what nobody say, man. I don't think nobody drive crazier than people from Pennsylvania. Oh, well, kind of cool. Like, I don't know something about them Pennsylvania plates. And went to Miami and Fort Lauderdale. You know, them niggas' highways got four and five lanes and shit. So they just be disrespectful in Florida and Miami. Like, them niggas, them niggas in New York, you see a nigga with a, Miami, a Florida plate in New York, bro? Get out that nigga way, son. Cause them niggas drive like maniacs. I don't know if it comes from the highways being so wide and fast and I don't know what it comes from, but them niggas being in New York, they'll kill you. So I see a Florida plate, I get low. Same thing with PA. 
I'll let a nigga go. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. You heard? Cause whatever rules y'all niggas got where y'all come from, y'all be driving crazy. Straight up. PA and, and, and Florida. Y'all niggas is crazy driving motherfuckers. Straight jacket. It's fucking pain in this fucking truck, nigga. Straight up, nigga. You know, it take a little couple of minutes for that AC to start really doing what it do do. I ain't gonna lie to this AC right to it, though. I, you can't, I can't have that. Like, you can't, you can't be selling a luxury car in the market and the AC take 10 minutes to warm up. That shit better get to it. I don't care about no, nigga, but you gotta run the engine. Nah, nigga. If you pay that much money for a car, when I step in that shit, that AC better be cold. Straight jacket. But yeah, my Negroids. New episode dropping at 10.30. I just came in to touch down with y'all, touch bases with y'all. You feel what I'm saying? About to go uh, handle some scandal. You feel what I'm saying? 10.30, that episode drop. We're going to slide over there. We're going to Attica. You heard? we going to Attica, baby. We in Attica today, baby. I'm happy I ain't never go to no motherfucking Attica, nigga. All that tough shit, I wasn't trying to go to Attica, though. Just the way that shit sound. Attica. It just sounds like, stab sounds like another word for stabbing. You heard? When I hear the word Attica, I just think about stabbing. Stabica. You feel me? So, I wasn't really trying to fuck with Attica, my nigga. Comstock, you know, Comstock was a high. But, but Addy? I wasn't trying to fuck with no Addy, my nigga. Send me the cack sacky with niggas my age. Don't send me with them grown ass Attica riot niggas. Yerk. Clinton and all of that. Like, niggas wasn't trying to go to Attica and Clinton. Like, you know, I'm good, bro. Shawan Gunk and all of that. Like, I'm good, man. Them names be too aggressive, man. Sh Shawan Gunk. Like, nah. You don't want to. And I heard that's a laid back spot, if I'm not mistaken. But you don't want to go up in there. I don't want to be in no place called Shawan Gunk. I'm good, bro. Miss me with that shit. But yeah, man. The Maxes be different, man. Maxes be have making niggas angry. You heard? Oh, man. What else, man? What else? All right, it's 10 17. Got 13 minutes to that. My bro Thomas from East New York, you heard? My bro Thomas from East New York, going up to Attica. We talking about K.O. Smitty. We talking about some major legends, my nigga. You heard? Then it gets a little crazy. Then the episode gets a little crazy, man. My fault, man. We apologize in advance if you're a little squeamish. You heard? But the episode gets a little messy after that, man. You heard? After we finish talking about K.O. Smitty and humble legends, shit get a little haywire, but you know, we grown, so we be all right. Yerp. Javel was populating, my bro. That's amazing, what's really good. Michael Summers, Clifford Buchanan was populating. Mr. Lem Rock was popping. I see y'all niggas in the building like a smoke alarm and sprinkler system. Yerp, cold. Let me stop fucking with random people, man. You know that's my job. I just ride around fucking with random people un un unsuspectedly. Yersh! But yeah, my Negroids. You see, certain, man, listen, man. That's why when I used to be out in Jersey and shit, one thing I used to love about Jersey. You ain't got to worry about all of that. Like, only in New York, you got to be stressing about parking and shit. You heard? Nigga go to motherfucking Jersey and all of that, man. Nigga just be having a parking spot, man. Nigga be like, this parking? Nigga be walking up and down the block like this. Is this parking? Niggas be like, yeah, it's parking, nigga. It's a street. Like, yo, I'm from New York. He's like, oh, all right. We understand. I mean, we just, that shit is suspicious to a New Yorker. A New Yorker see a parking spot, we start looking around like, 
the fuck is this? A TV show y'all trying to set me up? You heard? Nigga pull up on the block, see a big ass parking spot, nigga be like this. Straight up, bro. That shit be suspicious. You be like, nah, that's the feds, nigga. That's the feds, nigga. Fuck the parking spot just happened to be on the block. Come on, man. I'm trying to hype my shit up so y'all niggas can ride shoddy. So y'all can ride shoddy with me right quick. Gersh. Ryan G was popping. Yeah, you're gonna have to get the movie for that, my nigga. You know what I mean? You're gonna have to get the movie, baby. But I had a manslaughter in the second degree. You know what I mean? That's all that's that was the that's the that's the cop out for a manslaughter in the second degree at three to nine. If you blow trial to a manslaughter in the second degree, I think you get ten joints. You got a manslaughter in the first degree. That's what the nigga say had. Manslaughter in the first degree. When you got a manslaughter in the first degree, you can get a lot more time for that. When you got a manslaughter in the second degree, that's basically saying that it has been proven in court that it was an accident. You understand what I'm saying? You got a manslaughter in the first degree. It's like, eh, y'all was banging out. He got killed. You know, uh, you know, you 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 killed the dude. So you still got a manslaughter. But if it was a straight accident and they know it was an accident, then you got a manslaughter in the second degree. Manslaughter in the third degree is like super accident, like hit car accident type status. You feel what I'm saying? Um, but my original charge was murder in the second degree because nobody believed my case was an accident. You feel what I'm saying? So when that St. Laz the movie come out, you heard? My shit is cool. See, I told y'all, man, my, my audio book, my audio book that, I'm, that I was trying to get to a movie deal it's called Kids With Guns, but now that this shit got so chunky, now I'm doing the Kids With Guns series. You feel what I'm saying? Now I'm doing the Kids With Guns series, my nigga. So now I got motherfuckers that was Kids With Guns, but my book, my shit is still called Kids With Guns, my movie. And psh, listen, I can't be, I, I, I need it for this because this is epic. You heard? This is epic. My case, my nigga. You heard? So the case is different. So this shit, this shit is gonna be a movie, my nigga. You heard? When I decide to start putting that story down, like I said, it's gonna be followed by a movie deal, my nigga. Because my shit was different. Trust me. My life story period was different. Trust me. You feel what I'm saying? So my shit come out, nigga. It's a mo It's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be. It's gonna be movie rights following my shit. Period. You heard? So be patient. You'll be alright. Nah, but like, nah, man. It, you know, I'm ready to make the movie on my own, bro. But it's like, listen. Let me tell you something. You need a budget when you start wanting to create, recreate. Uh, when you gotta recreate them '80s. When you gotta recreate them '80s. In the 90s, that's when you need a budge, my nigga. I ain't trying to do no cheesy recreations, nigga. Straight up. You know what I mean? When I when when I flash back to them 80s and 90s, listen, I need that authentic. I need that authentic, nigga. You heard? I need to see Gyro Mike. I need to see Rob from Nintendo. The robot Rob from Nintendo. It need to be a scene where Rob is dropping them discs. And open while I'm playing gyro might and all of that. Like, I don't care if it's a two second scene. That's how authentic my shit gonna be, nigga. You gonna have ROB -R gonna be in my shit, nigga. You heard? Niggas don't want me to start putting down this motherfucking story, nigga. I told y'all niggas chapter. The audio book is on Patreon. Like, I, my fault. I ain't put up a new chapter in a couple of weeks. But I'm gonna put up like two, three more chapters. At, at one time, you feel me? But my audio book, y'all niggas already heard, heard the first part of my audio book, nigga. The first chapter of my audio book, my mom's was with a motherfucking maniac stomping her brains out, you feel me? Maniac. Then I come to find out this nigga, this nigga, my mother ain't even know, this nigga murdered his wife down south and was on the run in New York and started fucking with her. She ain't even know. Her, his sister came and told her like, yo, listen, this nigga, my brother, he murdered his wife down south, 
and he ran and he's up here and now he fucking with you and you and, and my mom's is fuck living with this nigga son nigga putting hands on me putting hands nigga was putting severe hands on my mom's you heard then we had to literally escape we had to literally escape out the nigga crib and go into the shelter you feel what i'm saying niggas had to escape and go into the shelter bro not me i'm still looking for that nigga to this day he probably locked up but i'm gonna smack the shit out of him when i see him because he's putting hands on my mom's in front of me stomping my mom's out and all of that when i see him i'm putting hands and feet i don't care if you 87 years old i'm fucking you up nigga you heard so um and i and i matured enough to say i'm fucking you up because before then i wanted to do more than fuck you up nigga you heard but I mean, don't think you do because you do it. When I see you in the streets, nigga, I'm going to find, I'm going to smack the shit out you. I'm going to smack the false teeth out your mouth. I don't give a fuck how old you are. You stomping my mom's out in front of me and I couldn't do nothing. Now I'm a grown man. I'm going to fuck you up, nigga. So anyway, yeah, we ran into the shelter. That's how we ended up in Brownsville. You feel what I'm saying? First, we was in Park Slope when, when Brownsville wished when, when when Brownsville wished they was Park Slope. I mean, when Park Slope, they was Brownsville. First, we was in Park Slope, like I said. Brownsville was neat and clean. It might have been wild, but it was neat and clean. Park Slope was abandoned buildings on fire. Niggas living in a abandoned building, piece of that shit on fire or something. You heard? That's how crazy it was in the late 70s, early 80s. You heard? We talking 80. We talking 80 and 81 Park Slope. It was nothing like it was now. You heard? So when we moved to Brownsville, nigga, we saw manicured lords, lawns and painted fences. We was like, oh, shit. We done came up. We done came the fuck up, nigga, when we moved to Brownsville. But nah, nigga, that shit was a war zone. You heard? I saw my first, I saw a nigga catch a body out my window when I was like seven, eight years old, maybe nine years old. I seen a nigga get stretched right out my window from a, from the distance of my window to the, to the, to the, to the motherfucking, uh, 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 to the school, you heard? Late at night, that shit woke me up with emotion. And I seen a nigga get stretched, nigga. I knew it was real out there, you heard? And my window faced the big circle in Howard, nigga. Niggas used to be banging out in that big circle every night, nigga. Every night it was a shootout in that big circle, nigga. Niggas from LH, niggas from Van Dyke. You heard niggas banging, you heard? So I grew up with some gruesome shit, nigga. And it's like, you know, I'm going to get all into it. I'm going to get all into it. One day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to say, it's time to do the LAZ story now. Kids with guns for real. Tell y'all niggas how it was in Brownsville 92 when niggas was children, nigga. We 17, 16, 18 years old in Brownsville. Niggas got an arsenal, nigga. Niggas got an arsenal in the projects. What the fuck are we doing? We kids, nigga. What the fuck is niggas doing out there with that many guns, my nigga? Come on, niggas. My, my man had the AK, my nigga. My OG had the AK. We was that nigga was 17. You heard? Yeah, man. I mean, that new episode is dropping in two minutes. This shit is on some bullshit. You know, I'm driving and shit, man. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to different boroughs and things of that nature. So shit gonna be fucking up. But um yeah, that new episode drops in two minutes, man. So I need y'all dudes that's in here, man. All 82 of y'all to slot over to that premiere. You heard? Comment, gang that up. You know what I mean? And let's get it popping this morning, bro. You know what I mean? I might drop tomorrow. I drop two episodes. We need enough days in the week for the content, my nigga. You heard? We need nine days in the week. For me to be able to bang out the way I want. I got a new John Ryder episode coming. Fed story. You know what I mean? Federal prison story. New John Ryder joint coming. You know what I mean? New Wise coming. New Fruquan coming. New Duffy coming. Uh, what else? 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 I got a bunch of shit, bro. I got a bunch of shit. You heard? Got a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? But um, we on it, bro. We on it, man. I mean, shout out to all the YouTubers out there trying to come up. You heard? Let's keep the peace. I ain't doing, I mean, niggas beefing with each other on and on YouTube and all of that, man. We ain't doing all of that, man. We ain't doing all of that, man. You okay? Nah, man.
But yo, check that new L Famous episode that's out right now. That's fire. Sneak thieves why um violated in Washington. Now I mean make sure y'all check that shit out. Check that new motherfucking that hook off episode. Check that. Check that new Puerto Rican Mikey. See that shit got eleven racks on it right now. You feel me? We, we, we be doing it organically out here, baby. We doing it organically. These other niggas, I don't know what these other niggas doing. They juicing. You heard? But we be doing it organically, my nigga. Organic Valley, man. You know that brand, Organic Valley? You know, we cage free over here, my nigga. You heard? Non-GMO. But yo, check it. That new episode is dropping now. Let's slide over to that premiere. I meet y'all dudes over there. You heard? Pause. I meet y'all dudes over there. Pause.